Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we will show you how to actually uh, modify basic Windows uh, apps and features and how to turn it on or off depending on your uh, what you want to do with your computer. Um, an example of that is um, when Microsoft updates some core features in your computer. Well, uh, one of the complaints that very often arises is there will always be a few people that will just say well you know since I've upgraded to that feature um, I can't it doesn't work anymore or it uh, my computer crashes and stuff like that and people are wondering can I turn off features that were updated and stuff like that yes you can as in all versions of Windows there's a, uh, an, a way that you can actually either disable or sometimes even roll back to older versions of software so um, to actually turn on or off core features in Windows all you have to do is go into the bottom left corner of the screen and right click and there you'll see programs and features at the top once you're here you'll actually go into the turn Windows features on or off on the left side panel and there you'll see all the features that are installed and um, all the ones with the check marks are the ones that are working if you take out the check mark you'll see that you can disable the function so if I for example take out the check mark in Internet Explorer 10 it's gonna, it tells you turning off Internet Explorer 10 might affect other Windows features and programs installing a computer including default settings do you want to continue if you really want to disable it you say yeah or else you, of course you can say no and cancel um, and if a, you did a change and it's not like you want or maybe it's not what you thought it was um, you can actually just go back and put back the check mark and it's going to um, come back normally so um, basically if you have an update of a feature for example if um, Microsoft sends out uh, Internet Explorer 11 and you would like to go back to 10 then by taking out the check mark between Explorer 11 you would go back to 10 so um, re taking out the the little um, check mark sometimes will revert to an older version of the uh, program so um, it could be useful if you want to go back in, to some other um, file version or program version in the uh, Windows features so this is where it is be careful as usual when you play around with the um, turning on and off of Windows features because um, you can actually really create uh, big problems in your computer uh, with uh, the removal of uh, some features and of course it's a great place to go because sometimes some pieces of software will ask you to turn on a feature that's not on by default so you can actually go put a little check mark in front of it so, if you enjoy our little videos and you've got that new Windows 8 machine maybe and you're a little lost, well, click the subscribe button at, uh, on the screen and you'll be able to uh, keep in touch with all the new videos we put online. Maybe you have a comment, a question on something. Maybe you have a feature you'd like to see reviewed. Let us know. We'll try to put a video online. Uh, keep in mind that by helping yourself, you'll also be helping others. Um, and uh, if you have, uh, if you enjoy our channel, well, hey, hope you come back and watch our different videos to help you learn more about Windows 8. So thanks for watching. Hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye bye.